This is Ritter for On The Ritter Entertainment Blog, coming to another edition of the 2021 MLB Observation Week 16. The Astros keep doing it, man. Altuve in the leadoff spot and Michael Brantley in the two spot. Altuve leading off Brantley 1-2. It should be Brantley third because he makes more contact. It's for higher average. He's not a cleanup hitter, which they've done before. And Altuve makes a lot of contact, but he's not the most fastest guy, so he's the number two hitter. Then I don't know why they better go on Alvarez one second. That makes absolutely no sense. He's a slugger, not a number two hitter. And again, he's not a great outfielder, so there should be no reason he ever plays the outfield. If you want to give Yuli Gurriel a day off at first base, that's where you play this guy. Like, I, I don't get it. And the White Sox, Yohan Makata has been good enough this year in the third spot. But if you want to drop him down to fourth or fifth because you want to put Vaughn or Sheets clean up, go right ahead. But he's not a number two hitter. Gavin Sheets, I speak of, he's not a number two hitter. He's all or nothing guy. And then Brian Goodwin... Adam Angle, Leor Garcia, Billy Hamilton, they're speedy contact guys. There's not be batting fourth, fifth, or sixth in this lineup. I know with the injuries to his Monty Grindal, there's no Luis Robert, and there's no, you know, Eloy Jimenez, but you got enough power guys in the lineup that you don't have to bet the speedy guys there. Then the Marlins, we've been over this. Tarling Marte is not a number two hitter, and Miguel Rojas is a number five hitter. You should swap them. Because I do like seeing Jazz Chisholm leading off, or Miguel Rojas leading off, but I don't want to see Jazz six, and it can be over it. Garrett Cooper does not have to play the outfit anymore. Core Dickerson is gone. You can slide Adam. You can you can put Ad, you can put Garrett Cooper in le, Garrett Cooper, excuse me, in left field because he's not an outfielder, so right field is kind of a stretch. And Aguilar, he's your first baseman. I don't ever want to see him playing third base. And their backup catcher is Stanley Young pitch, which is cool. Phillies, you almost had your perfect lineup. Now I know you don't have Udubel or Rare, so Jason Gurr has been leading off, but stop putting JT Ramuto second. He's not a number two hitter. He's a middle of the order hitter, and he's a very good offensive catcher. And this Luke Williams guy, I'm still confused. Second baseman turned center fielder? I don't know. They're the Mets. We've been over the Chet McNeil's on number five or number three hitter. Batting him second? That's a pretty good spot. But not Pete Alonso. Pete Alonso, Don, you know, Dominic Smith, Michael Conforto. That should be the middle of the lineup. And I feel like Lindor would be best to bat third, not second. Pirates, we've been over this. Key Brian Haynes has been too good of a RBI producer to bat second. Wilmer Defoe is a utility player. He should not be batting high in the lineup. Nor should Ben Gamble, a backup outfielder. And this Nagowski guy has seen playing first base over Philip Evans. Nagowski, when he first got called up, they played him in the outfield. I don't want to see Nagowski or Defoe or, you know, Evans in the outfield, but Nagowski's a rookie, so you know Evans has been around a bit. He should get the first opportunity to play first base. Adam Frazier, everyday second baseman, don't want to see him in the outfield. And Nagowski's also not a cleanup hitter. They just called him up. And we owe him as Brian Reynolds has turned into a great player this year and he's been an all-star, but he's not a center fielder. Keep him in left field. And then we get to the Padres. Cronworth is not a middle of the order hitter. And if he's going to play first base when you could just play Will Myers at first base when you give Hosmer a day off, it's pretty stupid. Then this old Grady guy is not a center fielder. He's a first baseman by trade. I know he's a super utility guy, but he's not an outfielder. And we go to this Jerickson Profar and Jorge Matei were not outfielders, nor are they center fielders. And Profar is not a first baseman either. you got Will Myers to play first base when Hosmer's a day off. Red Sox. We know it's Bobby Delvax, not a number nine hitter. He's been good enough offensively to move him up one or two spots. Rafael Devers is a middle of the order hitter, not a number two hitter. And Christian Arroyo should not be playing first base when you can play Michael Chavis at first base. And then you're playing him at second base. It's pretty stupid. Yankees, DJ Omega still leading off. Stupid instead of Judd. Now Stanton batting second. He's on number two. Especially when you have Rudan Odor batting third. I'm like, what? What's going on there? And then DJ Omega having to play third base and first base to accommodate other people. It's just pretty stupid. I did like seeing Brett Gardner lead off or bat second. That's kind of where maybe he should be. Rangers be over this the whole season. Isaiah Carnevaleff was a catcher playing shortstop. He's not a leadoff hitter. Dolce Garcia, I'd probably bat him fifth. I would like to see Joey Gallo and Nate Lau be in the middle of the lineup. Not Nate Lau second. The Blue Jays, Marcus Simeon, we've been over this, not a leadoff hitter. That's where I want Biggio and Bichette, because Biggio's not a number six or seven hitter, nor is a first baseman. And now instead of Gritchick, Springer's playing center field. Uh, I can do this. Springer's been playing more center field than Gritchick in his whole career. Brewers, Yelich is not a number two hitter. Willie Damas has been good offensively, but he's not number three. And Omar Navarro is a good enough catcher offensively. That he's not a cleanup hitter, nor is Willie Adamas. You want Yelich in the middle lineup, put Adamas second, and maybe put Omar Navarro sixth or seventh. The Reds, you know, Justin Winker is not a number two hitter, such a good hitter. Driving and runs, he's not a number two hitter. Naquin's not a cleanup hitter, and then Robert Stevenson's not a number three hitter. Aquino, he's an outfielder, but he's not a center fielder. And Freeman's a first baseman by trade, so I don't want to see him in center. Nor him or Kyle Farmer, both playing shortstop. Jonathan India leading off when Sazelle's been hurt, that's good. The Rays, Nate Lau, he's not a leadoff hitter. Bat him second or third. And again, stop playing in the outfield because I see this Bruan guy play second base. And I'm like, it's one thing to play Franco. It's one thing to play Wall. It's one thing to play Joey Wendell. Those guys are infielders. That's cool. Or Mike Brissaro. But don't be playing this this Bruhan dude in the second base and throwing Lau in the outfield when 
Lausch is just playing second base. Choi is not a number two hitter, and all the pressure on Wander Franco is a rookie to bat third or fourth. The stupid. We voted Yanni Diaz, not a number two hitter. Randy was Randy's on a cleanup hitter. Yandy Diaz is not a leadoff hitter. He's a middle of the order hitter. And Wendell's not a number five hitter. You got enough guys to bet in the middle of the lineup. And Colin McHugh, you're paying enough money to start. Don't make him a reliever. And backup catcher Fisco Mejia, he pitched in a game. Braves, I was I don't get why Freeman was still batting second and Alves was batting was batting third. RC is still playing left field because they got so many outfield injuries. That's fine, but he's an infielder. And then I do like they finally chased it up. Freddie Freeman's batting third. Dancy Swanson batting second. And Jack Peterson leading off. I'm like, you know what? I could do with that. That's not bad. Royals, stop putting Carlos Santana second and Andrew batting Andrew Benintendi third or fourth. He should bat second, which they've done somewhat. I don't want to see Dozier or Hearn in the outfield. They're infielders. And Bubik pitching on a bullpen still when he's a starter. Giants. Amate Wade Jr., he's an outfielder. you got enough infielders on the team to play first base. And Slater, we've been all this. He's not a center fielder. you got enough center fielders on the team like Lamonte Wade, and Steven Duger, Yaz, and Dickerson. And speaking of Yaz or Dickerson, they're not middle league order hitters. They're contact guys. I think it's Slater. He's not a contact guy. He's all or nothing. The Cardinals. I don't I don't know what's wrong. Tommy Edmond jumped from the leadoff spot to down to the sixth spot. And then Paul DeYoung's batting seventh or eighth. I'm like, what? What are you doing? Edmond should be at the top. DeYoung should be in the middle of the lineup. And Goldschmidt should not be batting second. And Carlson should not be being long. The reason why Carlson's second is because they don't have another choice to bat second. So he's been good there. Goldschmidt's a middle-of-the-order hitter. Dodgers, they're all over the place. Matt Beattie is not an outfielder, so right field is stretch. And he's a first baseman, so he's not a third baseman. Justin Turner, not a number two hitter. McKinstry is a utility infielder, not an outfielder. They got enough outfielders. And Bellinger is not a leadoff hitter. He's a middle-of-the-order hitter, nor is he center fielder. You got enough center fielders. And Will Smith is not a cleanup hitter. That's why when you have Bellinger leadoff, Turner bat second, you're putting guys out of order. And Max Muncy also... He's not a number two hitter, okay? Okay, and don't play him at second base either. You got enough guys in the infield to do that. And then Chris Taylor, I like that he was leading off the other day. The Rockies been over this. Ryan McMahon's not a second baseman, and Garrett Hampson's a second baseman, not a center fielder, like he's a middle infielder. Connor Joe's not an outfield, the first baseman by trade. Nor is he a number two hitter, and Blackman is best to bat in third because he used to be a, a leadoff hitter, not a cleanup hitter. Mariners, Mitch Hanniger's not a number two hitter, but I do like J.P. Cropper leading off. I don't get this Torrens, Murphy, and 5,000 other catchers they've used this year. They're not four, five, or six hitters, nor should be wasting a DH spot, especially when you have Jake Bowers playing the outfield when he should be playing first base or DH or Ty France. And we go with Shed Long's not an outfield. You need him a second base. Angels, we know that. So not a number two hitter. He's bad middle lineup. Guys like Iglesias, Max Stassi, that's a backup, that's a glove first player, and Phil Gosselin, a utility player, should not be bad in the middle lineup. And Phil Gosselin's not an outfielder. There's been too many guys like Ward, who's a catcher in the outfield. I'm glad that Upton's now back and Adam Eden's on the team, but Eden's on a number five hitter. But a good at least using him there. Katana, you're wasting the money as a starter while he's pitching out of bullpen. And then I like that Otani, when he's done pitching, he moves over to right field. Cubs, Wilson Contreras, Chris Bryant, Anthony Rizzo are not leadoff hitters, nor are they number two hitters, nor is Patrick Wisdom a number two hitter or a leadoff hitter. Chris Bryant's not a right fielder or left fielder. First base, that's fine. I do like that I've seen Chris Bryant push the middle lineup, but that's the expense of putting Contreras or Bryant at the top, which is stupid. Over this, let Bryant play third base. Wisdom's a career backup. He can play wherever if you have to, even though it's the first base by trade. And then Wisdom is not a middle of the order hitter. And Robinson Torino, so you got him as a catcher. Why does he play second base? You got enough versatile guys in this team, like Nico Horner and Sogar. You don't have to worry about that. And I do like Rafael Ortega batting leadoff. Diamondbacks, I know you got rid of Nick Heath and Tim LaCastro and Cattell Marte is hurt, but Reddick's not a center fielder. That's fine because he's an outfielder, but again, Pavin Smith is a first baseman playing the outfield. You play him in left field or right field and maybe try Cole Calhoun or Peralta in center. Van Meter is an infielder, stop playing him in the outfield, and Rojas is also not an outfielder. Van Meter is a utility player, that's another story. Nick Ahmed, not a leadoff hitter, he's a goal glove catcher, not a good hitter. Indians, Cesar Nias, not a leadoff hitter, he's number two hitter, he's been that most of his career. Now they're batting in third. I'm like, that's not where he belongs. You got Jose Ramirez, you got Framer Reyes, come on. And they call Yu Cheng back up. And he's playing first base. Dude's a shortstop, not a first baseman. Twins. Donaldson's not a number two hitter. I do like that they dropped him in the lineup. Now that Nelson Cruz has been traded. Okay. But I don't want to see Larson Ox, a rookie, batting third because that's too much pressure. Killerov, we know this is an outfielder. Stop playing at first base. Arai's not an outfielder. I, you got to play him in the infield more often. And now with the situation of Cruz being traded, you can move Donaldson to first base, or you can play Arise at first base, or you can play Polanco at first base. You do something just in order to shuffle things around there. And then Polanco's not a leadoff hitter. I do like seeing him six because he's not a number two hitter. Like, he drives and runs, but he's not a great on base guy. And then Nick Gordon, I'm glad they're playing him, but he's not an outfielder. And then I see Max Kepa leading off for batting second, man. 
bad middle lineup. The dude hit like 30 home runs before. Mitch Garver, welcome back, but you're not a number two hitter. You hit a lot of home runs. Tigers, Daniel Norris, but channel bullpen, but again, they got a Ross Ramirez, and they got Derek Holland, they got Fulmer. There are too many guys that are starters pitching out of the bullpen. Robbie Grossman, we've been almost not a leadoff hitter and not good of a hitter to bat third. He's playing right field now that Mazzara is gone, but you got Victor Reyes and you got all the other guys. Stop playing him in right field. We've been over this. Stop playing Zach Short, Paredes, or Harold Castro, Nico Goodrum. But you can play Willie Castro, natural born shortstop every day, and Jonathan Scope, and natural born second baseman every day. If you want to move Ken Alario to first base and you play one of those guys at third base, cool. But again, yeah, Eric Haas, I know you want to, he's been on a streak, but he's not a middle of the order, nor is he a left field. He's a catcher. Between Grayson Reiner and Jake Rogers, if he's not playing, you start Haas. A's, now the can is back. He's back to leading off. Dude's not a leadoff hitter. Lowry's not a middle of the order, nor is Loriano a middle of the order. Here, Mark Canna stretched to play left field, let alone play right field. And then the Orioles, Trey Mancini could lead the league in RBI. He is not a number two hitter. I liked when you did a lineup of so him, Mancastle, and Santander, and DJ Stewart batting three, four, five, and six. That's actually a competent lineup. Thanks for listening to another edition of Week 16 of MLB Observations of the 2021 season. From the Raider Tape Blog, I'm Raider. See you guys next time.